Yo, yo, what's going on YouTube? This your brother, KB Smooth Trucker 78, coming to you uh, early, early morning. Um, uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank all my subscribers. Thank to all my new subscribers, all my current subscribers, and just everybody that's been showing me so much love on YouTube. You know, I'm new to this thing. Um, Y'all been following me. I've been out here on this trucking journey about nine months now. Um, second trucking company, Super Service, been doing me great. You know what I'm saying? I talk a lot about them because they're a good company. I mean, and um, speaking on that, uh, any of y'all that subscribe and uh, drivers that uh, that come to Super Service because y'all like my videos, y'all like what y'all hear, y'all want to see for yourself, make your own decision to come. Um, I'm going to leave my link at the end of this uh my email uh, and driver code. Uh, please uh, let them know down there. If you go to Ellenwood uh, uh, Gym, Gym down there at orientation, or if you come up here to Somerset, uh, Stephanie, let 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 them know. And um, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, I gotta find out who's up there. But uh, please, please uh, put your brother down for reference. Uh, that's not the reason why I do this. It's like it's like icing on top of the cake, but it's not. That's not the reason why I do it. I know a lot of some, not a lot, but some YouTube people get on here, uh, and they um, yeah, they want they want that. They try to get you come to their company, knowing that they, they ain't you know what I'm saying not the greatest, or they might be even leaving. They just trying to get that extra money off of you. I'm not doing that. I just uh, I didn't even realize that my company gave you bonuses for referring people for real. Like my first referral. Uh, I met him down in Ellenwood, Georgia. Will, if you watch my channel, you still watch my channel, man. Hope you're still with, uh, doing good out there. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Seeing for yourself what it's like. Um, and, um, yeah, uh, so, I mean, it just shows your brother love. Appreciate it. it does give me a few extra dollars in my pocket the longer you stay with Super Service. But, uh, yeah, feel free to uh, put me down on that. You know what I'm saying? If you don't, it's cool. I just met a lady today. Uh, she's in training with a trainer. Unfortunately, his truck is uh, messing up, uh, and that goes to any trucking company. It ain't just super service. We not we not a mega mega carrier. We're we, you know saying we're a decent uh, uh, company. Got about uh, 1,200, 1,400 trucks and stuff and trailers. Uh, working on getting new trailers. I uh, I currently have one of our newest trailers, 16. But uh, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I mean, equipment's gonna be equipment. I don't care if you uh, Swift, uh, Prime, the big mega carriers. You know. Their equipment breaks too. I mean, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, so I appreciate it, and I appreciate all the love, y'all. I really do. You know, what I'm saying I was just thanking the Lord today. Like I'm actually out here helping people, and people are uh, watching my journey, my life, and, it, and it's doing some good out here. That's all my purpose is, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And um, apologize a little bit for my video earlier that it was kind of a little rough, you know what I'm saying? But I'm human, I'm human, I'm just like y'all, you know what I'm saying, I'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing. We all need a vent, we rant, you know what I'm saying? And this trucking life is some something else. I mean, it's it's real, I mean, it, it, it's, but I'm gonna tell y'all one thing, drivers, new drivers and drivers uh, that already know this, it's all about endurance, y'all. The trucking is, is when, it's rough when you first start out. For I say, uh, like I said, I'm nine months in, I'm getting my year, my first year in it, but, like I was told, and I'm seeing it for myself on personal spin. The longer you stick with it, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna eventually get, it's gonna pay off. It's gonna get better. You're gonna get to where you want to go, where you want to be. Everybody talk about company drivers are slaves. Be an owner, op, go buy your truck right out of CDL, getting your CDL class. No, no, no. You got to tread the water first. You know what I'm saying? Don't dive in head first. You got to tread the water first. You know what I'm saying? Like that's one thing my grandma always taught me. Like. Don't ever just dump in head first, you know what I'm saying? You got to trade. You got to get your feet wet a little bit. See if you like it, you know what I'm saying? See if you're going to be able to endure it, you know what I'm saying? And to me, my, and this is my opinion. Everybody has one. My opinion is, I look at it like this. You get your CDL, you know, you want to be you want to be a truck, you decide you want to get into trucking. You go, you know, have whatever route to get your CDL, whether you could, my, 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 mine is you, if you can't do it and you got the money or you can't afford it, go to a CDL college or uh, actual, uh, vocational thing that's teaching CDL that gives you the time to actually learn this crap because some of these companies they got three four week programs uh, you know what I'm saying that to me you don't you know to get your CDL and to throw you behind a truck by yourself that's too fast you know what I'm saying you get your CDL in a couple weeks you go out with a trainer for about two weeks and you're in a truck no 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 you're not ready yet you really not but 
a lot of companies doing it because they need this freight move. I mean, uh, America period, they said by next year, there's still going to be about 90 to 100,000 uh, thousand, uh, drivers short on trucking, in trucking, period. Because the man afraid is high right now. We, we, you know what I'm saying, America, we run America, y'all. We deliver these loads and uh, all this freight, whatever you do, flatbed, drive van, reefer, tanker, uh, oversized, low boy, whatever we do, driving the truck, you're helping, you're, you're helping uh, America move. We keep America going, you know. If we, uh, like uh, some truckers said, like if we all sit together, just like uh, I, uh, I found my old movie uh, here. Uh, oh, and I'm at this mega center too up here in uh, Kenley, North Carolina. I'll talk about that here in a second. Um, this is awesome. It's like a truckers, truckers mall or something. I'm about to go in here and show y'all, show y'all what's real. If y'all never been here, I never been here. This is my first time. It's awesome, man. It's like uh, what you want to call it, like the biggest. What's one of the biggest malls in America? I don't know, but this this is like the truckers version of that. I mean, like the super warm. It's like the super center, super center trucking stop. Yeah, they got everything in this piece. But uh, but yeah, so um. You gotta stick it out, you know. We, we, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna get rough. It's gonna be times where you can be sitting behind that wheel of that truck and and be like, why, why am I out here? Why the bump am I sitting out here doing this? Why am I putting up with this? You know what I'm saying? Uh, first and foremost, the main reason is because you're probably trying to do it for your family. You know what I'm saying? For most most people, I know that's why I'm out here. I'm trying to, you know, make a better life for me and mine. So, uh, currently engaged, my fiance. I'm trying to, you know, say we're trying to get that wedding, all that done next year. You know what I'm saying in God's will. And um yeah. So and not only that, I just you know what I'm saying, I've, I've, I've done do it a lot in life and I've been through a lot in life. I've done as you can see, army, I did my military ten and a half years, you know what I'm saying? I done uh, all the warehouse, I even humble myself, I'd have been through fast food, I'd have done uh a lot of I'm a jack of all trades. Like if you ever uh look me up on uh Facebook, um and uh You'll see my resume on there. You'll see, like, damn, man, he done had a lot of jobs in my 39 years on this earth. Because it's not that I kept bouncing back from job to job. Different situations in life happened. Uh, I was a diesel mechanic, my MOS in the Army, 63 Sierra. I was a heavy wheel mechanic, a diesel mechanic. Um, drove truck, that's what I learned about truck. But I've been around trucks all my life. My granddad uh, used to drive dump trucks and uh, old Peter Bills, uh, cat engines. Uh, Man, I wish they bring the cat engines back in these trucks, man. I love, I miss that, man. Them C10. Every time I see old, old op, they got one, man. They come in there with the twin stacks on the side. Whoa! Man, them things are awesome, man. But, uh, but, uh, yeah, um, yeah, Cat said they didn't want to deal with all the EPA and putting the missions and the death on air on the engines. Um, I heard they actually have a, a Caterpillar truck, a highway truck that they, that you could buy with a, uh, cat engine on it that made specifically by Caterpillar. That's the only way you can get a cat engine in your truck now. But uh, but yeah. So um, but yeah. So like I said, you know, you got you're going to do a lot out here, new drivers. I mean, just stay with it. Just keep your head up. Stay positive. No matter what you go through, don't lose your cool. Um, all I've been through this week, this this whole week since I uh, I did my 34 hour reset. Y'all that follow me, I did my 34 hour reset uh over the uh, last weekend. Came back on duty Monday and been dealing with the same the same load, a whole bunch of BS, rude uh the shipper. I back and forth with them. Now I'm over here trying to deliver the load. Thought I was gonna get it off my back uh, last night, yesterday, and still uh still got the load, y'all. So, but you know what? I caught, you know what I'm saying, I had a little woosah, I'm on my vented, you know, y'all seen the video, y'all know what I'm saying, I got a little, uh, little, little bit of foul language and, you know what I'm saying, I'm working on that, I'm human, but, you know what I'm saying, I just had to get it off my chest, it's either that, if, you know what I'm saying, or, uh, you know what I'm saying, do something else, but I won't, I won't come out of character, I'm not gonna let nobody else ruin this for me, I worked hard to get this, to be out here in trucking, I enjoyed, this is what I want to do, I always actually wanted to be a trucker, it just uh, other things came instead. Ever since I've been behind the wheel of the truck, I remember uh, when I joined the army, I got behind. If anybody been in the military or know about military vehicles, the old deuce and a half, they call it deuce and a half. Old little truck man that had a, a manual shifter in it, uh, bogey suspension. You bounce all over the world, man. And uh, my first duty station was uh, Korea, and I used to go up and down to North Korea, Camp Casey, all that, uh, up to DMZ, down through Seoul, all the way to Kusan Air Base. You know what I'm saying? And uh, convoys, and we rolling. Then they had the 915s. Uh, that was the actual military back in my day. Like I joined in '95. 
that was the actual truck that you carry the military trailers in, which is basically uh, made by uh, GM, uh, uh, GM, I think it was General Motors or International, one of them. But yeah, they had an old air. It's called I call it slapstick, but it's like an air air shifter, air clutch, and um, yeah. So and then the uh, military upgraded to the uh, the freight liners. The um, they call them 915 uh, A2. They was like freight liners. They were like little day cab looking freight liners. But the military version, they had uh, uh, six axles on it, all powered, uh, all wheel drive, and um, yeah. And now they got the, the armor, the armor, uh, the full armor cab ones now. So, uh, but yeah, if y'all ever been this place, let me chill all in here. You know, I don't like to make my videos too long, y'all. Um, but like I said, thank y'all for following me. Thank y'all for putting up with a brother. You know, you're going to see the good and bad and ugly. Because I ain't going to sugarcoat nothing out here. I'm trying to let y'all know what's real. Ain't every day going to be Peachy King. You're going to get your load. You're going to deliver it. You're going to make money. You're going to be happy. No, it's going to be, you're going to have the good, bad, and ugly days of trucking. But it's all trucking, y'all. Endure it, stick it out. It's going to get better. We gonna get better at it. Yes, let's do it. So yeah, let me show you this mall, man. It's a uh, like I said, Kenley uh, Petro Super Super Mall Trucking. They be got a whole trucking trailer in here, y'all. Hi, uh, right, good morning. How you doing? All doing great. This place is awesome, by the way. I've never been here. This is my first time. So um, yeah, I was like, wow, this is like a super mall for truckers. Like, That's it's... what I call it. Working my man's mall. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So I appreciate got a whole truck in here. It's nice. Oh so. yeah, thank you. Yo, you're very welcome. All yeah. right. Y'all yeah. nice. do, and it's good customer service. Uh, yeah, I actually mm -hmm. uh, had a little issue. I bought one of your TVs, and it wouldn't work for me, the DVD one. Mm -hmm. It kept, like, my DVD. It actually ate two of my DVD, oh, so really? I ended up having to return it. Mm -hmm. The guys said they're not really that high quality. So, but y'all was so nice and awesome, and just everybody's so friendly. I mean, that's good to, good to see, because oh, yeah. yeah. in a big lot, huge lot, even though it filled up fast. I came in early. Oh, yeah. Because I had to. Yeah, I didn't, yeah, I came in early and it was wide open, but then I looked about six six o'clock, it was full already over there. I'm like, wow. They, they, a lot of them that's been here now, they make it their kind of regular stop going through, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, like I said, I just had an issue. You know, it's got uh -huh. good clean bathrooms and yeah, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's a clean, know? clean facility, because yeah. some truck stop, even the regular brand, they want like the TA Petrol, some of them, depending on the area of the state, they're nasty. The yeah. police are rude and stuff, but y'all, yeah. awesome, I appreciate yeah, it. All right. Oh, man. Y'all have a, yeah, I think it's a food thing restaurant. Like, you can get coffee and stuff in here. Yeah, the only one that's open after midnight is Wendy's. But Wendy's. But you got somewhere y'all can get yeah, uh, coffee? Yeah, coffee and stuff. Yeah, right yeah so that's all I really need because I got to get ready to roll in a couple oh, yeah. of hours. So. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. See what I'm talking about? Good, friendly service, y'all. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, y'all check this out, man. Follow, follow uh, roll with your boy. I'm actually going to, um, I'm actually going to flip, uh, Roll over here. Look at this. Look at this truck, y'all. I don't care who you are, truck. You gotta love this. Look at this. Look at this. They got a whole truck and trailer here, y'all. Look at this thing. Beautiful. I love that right there, y'all. Support our troops. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But look at this pretty Kenworth here, y'all. If I ever do decide to buy my truck and go on or out, man, I gonna get me something like this, y'all. Look at this sucker here, man. Got the chrome out. Look at it. Got the chrome rims. Got the thermal pack. I think that's what I think this is thermal pack. But that's what I yeah, man. Thermal pack. Clean. I don't like the I don't care for the red though, man. I got I, blue's my favorite color. But look at the twin pipe. Look at the size of the stack. You know this mug. This mug will be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. You ain't gonna be able to jake in certain neighborhood. I don't think you can go inside. No, they got that lot. But yeah, it look like a big old sleeper, nice sleeper on there. Uh stick called studio sleeper, y'all. See it? Studio sleeper, yeah. Look at the man. Look at them pipes. Oh, man, this sucker, man. What's man? Look at this sucker. Oh, like that. Yeah, it's big old KW, y'all. Look at the front, y'all. Chrome. Now let you go to look. Look at this, y'all. You tell me, you. This is what we do. This is what we do trucking for. Tell me, you rolling down the road in that? Yes. You want to roll in that? Yeah. I don't care who you are. You gotta love that. You will roll in that. Uh, uh, uh. That thing's sexy, man. Just painted blue for me. But yeah. And then they got, oh, oh, uh, lady truckers or even guys. I'm, I ain't afraid to wear pink. I got, you know, I support cancer. I'm going through my dad's going through it right now. Um, it's all through my family. But look at this truck, y'all. Look at this lady truckers. And even guys like this. You got to enjoy this, too. Look at this right here. Boom. 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 
Now the uh, Peter B. That's a nice ass Peter Bill, y'all. Look at that man, pink. They got it all pinked out and chrome. Next has some twin stacks on it. Got a little uh, Black Panther sitting on top of it. Sexy. Support the support the support the tatas, breast cancer, all cancer. You know that's a hell of a disease. My dad's going through, y'all. Keep him in prayer. Um, he's fighting. And they treating him with their chemo and stuff, man. He's going through it, man. And um, they hopefully they get it removed and he'd be cancer free soon, y'all. Uh, they got the Carolina Panthers. You know I'm in NC. Got the Carolina Panthers. Yeah, that's why I was a Black Panther on. I forgot I'm in Carolina. Yeah, they doing good. I think they doing good this year. I, I ain't. I'm gonna be real. I usually keep up with football. I haven't even kept up with football this year. Not not because my team doing bad. I'm a New York Giants fan. Yet if anybody that follow me, I used to what rock the New York Giant landlord all the time. You know what I'm saying? Don't read. I, I took it all because I love the Army. I found I, I found this up in New Jersey, Columbia, New Jersey, TA, and um. Yeah, I uh, just wanted just wanted to change up. You got to switch up the style up. Uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Fifty Cent said you got to switch your style up and let the haters uh, watch your money pile up. Yeah, y'all know what I'm talking about. Old Fifty. Uh, shout out to Fifty. Oh, I, I want to get me one of these, y'all. Uh, um, stand wheel cover, man. Ooh, this feels this look comfortable. This little black joint, heavy duty, thirty two dollars. Woo! But it feels comfortable. See the little grips. You know, we 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 drive. You know what I'm saying. You know, if we running miles, you know, y'all running these miles. I like this. It grip the grip the hands on it. Mmm, feel. Ooh, they got the blue jump with the. Uh, that's 17. That's more of my price range. Mm, I like that. You know, our super service. Our trucks are uh, burgundy. But hey, I don't care. I put the blue in the inside. I, you also see my bed and stuff. Uh, did I give? Did I do a video a tour of my truck? It's kind of kind of messy right now, but I do a video of the tour of my truck. One, uh, I'll clean it up for y'all. I do a good video. Ooh, got the sexy uh, real tree camo, John. Yeah, and we gotta spoil ourselves too, new drivers and senior drivers. Yeah, we out here, we feed our family. You gotta send money home, but we also gotta look. You know, just spoil yourself every once in a while. And uh, they got the lady for y'all ladies out here. Shout out to all my lady truckers out here. I know y'all got a lot to endure just being a female in this game. So shout out to all my lady truckers out here. Uh, but look at this. They got pink. Remember I told you I support the pink. They got the purple for the ladies. Nice, nice. Oh, these are nice grip. Ooh, here we go. 26 bucks. I like this. The whole thing is grip. Yeah. Hmm. Like that. So I'm assuming that. I got a freight line of Cascadia at 15, so they said 18, what did they say, 18 inches? These are 18 inch. So I'm assuming that they all the same, all our stand wheels are the same. Oh, 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 y'all, y'all, look. That's that's hot right there. Yes, I support this country. I like, that's hot right there. That's That might be me right there. That, that might be me right there. That's what I might do. See the little, with the American, American flag on them? Yeah, like that, like that. Yeah, but look, and then um, y'all, y'all own the ops over here. This is the owner ops section. Y'all got your own truck. Look, you can put your own custom uh stand wheel in there, man. Oh, I like that blue, y'all. Look at that blue Gomez skull right there. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. Yeah, like that, like that, like that, like that. And you get the little customized shift knob with it, man. Go ahead, man. I got it. You, you go broke up in here, man. You got, this is I told you, this is a trucker shopping mall. And they got a little um. Like little old school uh, Fords and uh, Chevy C10 up there on top. Got the Christmas tree, man. This is this is awesome, man. But yeah, everything in this store, y'all. I mean, everything you want, all the trucking accessories. I'm about to go down and show y'all. Um, oh, anybody know? Dang, that's hundred dollars. But this uh, the, these purple uh purple seat cushions, like, cause uh, I don't know about y'all, but Freightliner, I got I got like I said, I got a Freightliner Cascadia. You know, I got a little pillow. I got a little, yeah, my booty be like falling asleep and stuff. You know, we sitting there. See, I try to move around and stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I might try one of those one day. Some seat cushion and stuff. But, um, yeah, you get all your cleaning products. You can clean up the detail of your truck. Um, wow, y'all. Y'all, what y'all know about this? I'm old school. What y'all know about the record player, y'all? Y'all don't know about the records. Y'all don't know about the 12-inch vinyl. The 45, you had to put the little circle in the middle. And then if you lose that, you got to line the record up just perfect to play it. <laughs> yeah. I grew up on that. That's why I came up, man. You know, like you said, that's old school right there. Yeah, they got a little shop and stuff. Look, little little toys. You can get your son. son look, you know what I'm saying? You got kids. They got little trucking toys. You know, look at that. Torn toy. Look. Got the Kent KW with the, uh, um, what is that? Uh, hauler. Yeah, long haul trucking truck. Got the flatbed gang. The low boy. Yeah. 
flatbed game. Yep, yeah, they got the look. There we go down here. This me, this me driving box game. Got the reefer, reefer truck. Yep. Yeah. So man, nice, nice man. This place is awesome, man. I was, like I said, I ain't never been. You know what I'm saying? To one of these. They say I think they got like uh, three of these in America. I know they got one up there on 80 somewhere up there in the Iowa. But yeah, man, they're awesome. So now that I know that this is here. Anytime I'm um, close around here and I got delivery and I, I need the 10-hour break or the part, I'm going to come here. You know what I'm saying? I just got to humble my, I mean, uh, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm all like a kid in a candy store. I'm like, ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, should I get that? Mm, yeah. Yeah, you you be broken here. You be, you be, you be don't have a hit. You got to hit up a Vans all week long. Because what happened? Uh, or you're going to have to tell the missus or your husband at home, um, honey, um, we're gonna we got to go a little short this week because I went up here to the big ass mega mega truck ball and it kind of kind of overspent. But we got to spoil ourselves as truckers, man. You know what I'm saying? We out here dealing with all this craziness every each and every day. We got to we got to add. Uh, I say, joy the fruits of the spirit. Joy the fruits of your labor. We got to you know what I'm saying? Spoil yourself. But yeah, they got the you know they got the sexy lady little bands. You know I don't I ain't gonna put none of that on my truck. But they got skulls. You know got uh mud flaps. Um, well, you know, just big. They got clothes, clothes in here. Uh, flatbed gang. They got your tie downs. Uh, they got chains, your cargo securement. Flatbed gang, y'all. Shout out to all the flatbedders out there. Y'all doing your thing. Um, here you go, cargo equipment area. Um, they got a whole old oh, chrome section over here. They got lights. I'll go over there real quick. Um, I know I don't like to let our videos y'all, but this I, I got I gotta let y'all roll with your boy on this one. Okay, they got the lights. Look, they got the lights. Yeah. Yeah, wow. They got all your Bluetooth, Bluetooth and system. Um, look over here. You got the Bluetooth headphones. Got the um, Bluetooth speakers. Y'all want to get a little speaker for your truck. Uh, headbands, headsets. Uh, Hands-free. Uh, wow, this is like a cheap version. Look. And look, new drivers. This, you, you can get a little... Uh, oh, this ain't even... Um, that's not even a, a Bluetooth, but you can just hook it up to a wire. You just get in the game, new drivers. Until you can get one of these blue pairs or uh, headsets, you get one of these ones where you can just plug it to your phone that has a wire to it. You know, you know, you gotta you gotta start out small. You know, what I'm saying, and work your way up. So yeah, all the accessories you got got a little uh, plug-ins and stuff. Um, oh, oh, I'm gonna do a review on this too. Uh, I, got, I just got one of these for my truck and it's been working good I mean eventually I'm gonna get a verter pit in super service we don't have inverters in a truck you gotta buy them and pit them in but till then I got one of these coolers y'all man that thing's on point I keep some fresh food in there um I'm gonna do a review on that I'll do a review video uh cooler versus refrigerator till I can get inverter and actually get a refrigerator in there that thing's been working good um you just gotta be careful uh they sell the wires too uh if you do if you do drivers though real quick if you do decide to get one of these, um, they, they usually run about, this one's 109, yeah, mine was about 100 and something. Yeah, about a bill and some change. Um, the power cord, they say these burn out a lot. The power cord for them, uh, yeah. So they sell these, they uh, 20 bucks for an extra cord and the fuse too. Like I said, I'm a mechanic, so they got a fuse that goes in there. And um, and also check your uh, truck, if you got an older truck, you know what I'm saying, make sure your 12 volt plug, plug it into a good one. Don't you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, it keeps cool and hit. Oh, here's a uh, actual live version of it. Yeah, here it go. And it's big too. See, you got a lot. Look, you can. Yeah, yeah. See, that's this is the one I got right here, y'all. Pretty good, pretty cool, man. Keeps me some fresh food. I got fruit. You know what I'm saying? Your boy trying to stay healthy out here, leaving all that truck stop junk alone. You got your vacuums and your fans down here. Uh, all your little uh, oh coffee. Oh wow, they make little coffee makers and stuff. Yeah. Oh y'all, new driver. This this thing right here. Don't don't grab this thing right here. This little car. It's called car pot, right here. You know if y'all can see it good. I bought one of those when I first came out here. So tried to heat up some soup in there. That thing didn't work worth crap. I had to return that joint. Yeah. But yeah. They got little frying pans. All this plugs into your 12 volt. You know what I'm saying? So uh, so those that don't get a verter, you may not want to put a verter in your truck. You can go 12 volt the whole time. Um, they got the little uh. AUX cables, uh, your charging cables, all they got everything in here. Uh, tools, stuff you might need for your truck. They got a whole shelf out. But anyway, um, and let me go over here to these lights real quick. Oh, they got stereo equipment. 
They got stereo equipment. Look, you can put a little sub in your truck. You want bass out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can change out your radio. Lease out owner ops. You got your own truck. You can change out your radio. Uh, company trucks. I don't think they want you doing. I got to check with uh, Super Sir. I don't know if they they, you, uh, they want you changing all that out. Uh, yeah, get with your fleet manager too. Always before, if you got any questions, new driver, especially you company driver, don't start uh, modifying and doing other stuff to the truck when you, uh, your company might not allow you to do that. You know what I'm saying? So don't just be a, uh, you know, hooking it all up, drilling all holes and stuff, because you might, you, it might backfire on you. Your company be mad at you because some of these comps, even though we company drivers, you get a truck, they usually, you know, they'll sell them. They'll sell them once they get a certain mileage on them. A lot, a lot of companies usually sell them after they get up to 500 to 700,000 uh, mile range. So they don't want you all modifying them and they also lose out on uh, uh, the, the lease program or however they purchase their trucks. So yeah, but yeah, you get the chrome light, you got the lights, all oh, the light section, you make your truck look, you know what I'm saying, uh, owner op. So this this be owner op dream. I bet you you be in here just uh, orgasm like a mug. Owner op, oh, 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 look at this. Yeah, look at the pipes, y'all, look at the pipes. Man, man. I tell you what, I, I'm old school. I grew up on a uh, truck. Man, they got some nice stacks in these joints, man. Man, man, you rolling down the rope, man. You be, yeah. That's why, yeah. I, I still love the loud trucks. <laughs> that's why they got the Jake laws. You, you see them the no engine, the no engine brake uh, retarded through these certain sections in the neighborhood. Yeah, that's why coming through there screaming, y'all. Look, sexy, sexy. All the lights, man. Oh, I like that blue up there. I like that blue. Yeah, so. All right, but um, damn, they already been almost 30 minutes on here, y'all. I don't like to keep it all out, but yeah, the super mall uh, truck and truck stop, uh, Petro. There's also a pilot across the street. Um, like I said, Kinley, North Carolina, y'all. Um, off of 95. Um, uh, exit. Uh, take truck stop road. Uh, truck stop road exit. If y'all ever up this way, check it out, man. You you'll fall in love. Uh, It'll make you feel good while you're out here. You know, you you build up, you get your money up. You uh, you can do some stuff, spoil yourself a little bit. But just know that <laughs> don't go too bad, cause you'll you'll lose you lose all your money up in here. You'll be spending all your money, man. But uh, all right, y'all. Um, like I said, thanks all. Thanks for rolling with you, bro. Thanks for chilling with me. Um, shout out. Like I said, thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers, old subscribers. And like I said, follow the link. I'm gonna give y'all my email, my driver code. Um. You know what I'm saying? And uh, even if you don't just refer, just just hit a brother up. You know what I'm saying? Follow me or uh, email me. Um, you can follow me on Facebook. Look me up. Uh, KB stands for my name, Kevin Brown. Look me up on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? I got I got a lot of positive stuff on there, too. And um, that's it. Just my journey in trucking, y'all. That's all I'm on here for. Just to help new drivers. Um, I'm probably going to end up, uh, like I told y'all before, I'm thinking about getting into uh, being a trainer soon. Everybody keeps telling me, man, you'll be a heck of a trainer. You know, but I'm still learning too, man. So once I feel that I learn enough that, I mean, I'm already sharing knowledge with y'all. Everything I go through, every time I learn something new, I try to post it and let y'all know. But once I feel that I got enough experience, enough up, then I, then I can uh, bring bring uh, bring y'all young drivers in and I'll start training y'all on the, you know, out here. And, um, Cause we need we need good drivers, good positive drivers like us, and as many of us out here, you know what I'm saying. There are some bad trainers, and they train you the wrong way, and you know, in it for the wrong reason. I'm in it to make good drivers. Truck drive, like I said, you heard, like I said, the report. Next year, we're gonna be short 90 to 100 thousand drivers still short in America trucking. So, but uh, always as it is, stay safe. Um, like I said, uh. Uh, I ain't gonna, you don't have too many of them, but I had to, I had to do the video where I vented a little bit, you know what I'm saying, got a little raw with it. But for the most part, I keep it real, you know what I'm saying, keep it real smooth. That's why, that's why I go by smooth, smooth trucker. But you know what I'm saying, it's trucking, y'all. We gotta, we gotta, you know what I'm saying, live through it, man, endure it, and then it's gonna get better. We're gonna get better. Trucking is gonna get better for us, and then, you know what I'm saying, then the, it le it's, it's a path that leads, a gateway to whatever you wanna do. You know what I'm saying? Owner op, lease op, down the road. Uh, start your own fleet. You know what I'm saying? The longer you stay in the highway, or you want to just retire being with a company, how, whatever you want to do. Trucking is a gateway to a lot of things. So, and getting your CDL is a gateway a lot of things. Not just trucking. CDL, you can operate anything. You know what I'm saying? Commercial wise, a uh, bus, you want to drive a bus. Uh, 
my hat's off to you, I, you know what I'm saying? Especially Greyhound, you wanna do that? Oh, you, good luck. <laughs> you already know if anybody that ever rode a Greyhound, most of these companies you go to, to get there, they pitch you on a Greyhound. Yeah, they that, that's some rough stuff. But, you know what I'm saying? So, thank you for kicking it with your boy. Thank y'all for keeping me up too, to keep my spirits. I love the comments. I love uh, the posts y'all do. Uh, Y'all, y'all, you know what I'm saying, telling me to keep my head okay. Because I need that too. I'm usually the, the courager, but I'm human. I need that. I need that too. So thank y'all. Thank you for kicking with the boy. Thank you for uh, chilling with me for 30, 30 some odd minutes now. Y'all could have been anywhere else, but y'all chose to watch me. If y'all watch the whole video, I appreciate it. And um, let's all let's all stay safe out here. Let's work work with one another. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always iterate it. Stop all this nonsense, all this YouTube beef trucker beef people be paired we need to come back and unite as a people y'all so y'all be safe out there y'all have a good day be safe uh keep focus on here um don't let nobody discourage you let nobody get you down and hey we're gonna do this thing y'all so one love your boy your brother kb smooth trucker 78 coming back to y'all y'all have a good day i'm about to get out here i got a couple more hours i'm about to go on duty go get deliver this load they're gonna get this load off my off me today say something today i'm gonna leave this load there i'm gonna take it off myself and leave it in the yard now nah, i'm just playing y'all just play no nah, it's gonna get done today i got a good feeling and i'm gonna run uh they got me running up to michigan after this man got another hot load um um 900 miles i need that too gonna run that on out so y'all have a good day god bless stay safe my family out here your family out here Let's do this thing, y'all. KB Smooth Trucker 78, your brother out. Peace.